Hey guys, what is up? Ethan here. Welcome back to the video. Today, we're going to be doing cheap versus expensive Rubik's Cubes and see if it really makes a difference. Now, for today's cheap Rubik's Cube, I'm going to be using just the Rubik's brand. I also have the Dollar Store Cube, but that's like, I'm not going to count it because it's just terrible, not designed for actually being solved. It's more of like a decorative kind of just toy, whatever. I'm gonna be using the Rubik's brand, then I'm going to be using the Moyu GTS M, which has the magnetic uh, corners. It is so awesome. My main cube right now is the GTS without magnets in it with custom stickers and I absolutely love it, but I've been using the GTS M a little bit more. Uh, it kind of slows my turning down. I've just really liked it overall. So I'm going to be doing three solves with each cube and we're going to see which one does better. And if it really makes a difference to spend $30 on a Rubik's Cube or just do the standard, I think it's like 10 bucks or something. Uh, to spend the extra money to get a better cube or to use the cheap cube you can get at like Walmart or Target. I got my timer here. We're gonna do three solves on the Rubik's frame first. Okay, we're gonna do our inspection and then we'll get started. I hate how clunky it is. Do a double add. Well, technically I DNF'd, but I'm just gonna go ahead and count it. So 32 seconds, that's really bad. That's really bad. I do apologize if there's a little bit of camera shake like that, because I currently have my phone mounted to my mic stand that's attached to this desk, and this desk really sucks like that. I'm currently building a new desk as we speak, so uh, it should be ready by the next video. All right, we got a sub 30, 28 seconds. It's so clunky and it actually doesn't corner up terrible, but it's not great. I've also changed this cube a little bit. Like I've lubed it and like cut some of the corners. So it's like I've modified it, but it's still the same cube you can buy. Mm. It's kind of hard to differentiate colors. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Well, that was a little bit of my fault, but 32.8. So we averaged like 30 seconds, I think, in three solves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Moving on to the fast cube. Oh, it already feels so much better. It'd be so embarrassing if I didn't get a better time. What am I doing? All right, 23.5. All right, solve number two.
Mm-hmm. Oops. Alright. 22 1. Mm. Okay. This one's going to be a little trickier. Oh no, I corner twisted. I know for sure I corner twisted, I felt it. I hope that, that was the right fix. Looks like it was. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so with the corner twist and the screwed up AUG, a 26.5. Okay, so that wasn't a really shocking result. You kind of pay for what you get for a speed cube designed for speed solving and then a Rubik's brand for beginners learning how to cube. And a lot of people just don't solve it, kind of more decorative kind of thing. So I definitely would recommend a cube. And if you're in the market for a cube, you don't really have a, a huge restriction on budget. I definitely would recommend either the GTS2 or the GTS2M with the magnets. Again, this one just doesn't have magnets in it, but I never really had that issue. And then this one I've really liked a lot more um, as I've been using it a lot more. I do wish I had different uh, stickers on it though because they're just kind of standard Moyu stickers. I like my shades a little bit better, a little bit brighter. Um, but you know, nothing to complain about there. I can always just get new stickers, you know? Um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. What main cubes do you guys like to use? I'd like to get some more cubes at some point and uh, learn and hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, that'll do it for today. Any video suggestions down in the comments. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.